Okay, hello. So this time I want to talk about the problems uh, that involves combination. I mean, this is probability, but involves combination in the process of counting it for this problem. Okay, let's read this. In the back, there are 10 pairs of socks. What is the probability that in eight socks chosen at random, there is exactly two pairs of socks? Maybe we can, uh, I need to draw the illustrations to, to make you understand. But in the, in the real test, you don't need to draw the illustration, of course. So just to make it clear that imagine this is one pair. This is the second pair, third pair. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then the last pair, ten. Okay, the goal is we need to choose eight socks. Remember, eight socks, not eight pairs, okay? And then from eight socks that we choose, and we want to get exactly two pairs of them. Okay. So that means the total outcome first. I always do that. I always do the for the denominator first. So the total is 10 pairs. So that means uh, times two. So 20, 20 socks. You want to use eight, so eight. So choose eight from 20. This is the total, sp uh, total sample space, total outcomes. And then for the numerator is what we want. We want to get exactly two pairs. For example, we choose this and then we choose this, right? So if we draw the combination, the total is 10, not 20 again, because we want to see from the pairs angle point of view, okay? So the total pairs now, we're talking about pairs. So 10, and then we want to get exactly two. So that means the remaining socks, the other four socks must be different, right? Because you want to get exactly two pairs. So only four socks that exactly the same, okay? For example, this, the first two socks is from the first pair and then the other sock is from the second pair, for example. So that means the other remaining, the remaining must be different. So must be select from each of these box, okay? So for example, for this, we need to select only one. We cannot select two from this single box for the remaining, yeah? So that means the rest is just eight pairs. And then we choose four. But how can you know that? I mean, if we only write this, it does is not guaranteed that these four remaining socks is different, each of this. So to guarantee that, we know that each of these box has two objects, right? So that means we only want to get one of these two objects. So that means this is like a combination of one from two. This is like the choosing way, okay? The, the way of choosing for the remaining socks, okay? So two from, I mean, sorry, one from two socks, okay? We, and then we know that the remaining socks is only four. So we need to make it power of four. So this is the guarantee that the remaining four socks is different. Like it's not the same. It selects from each different box, not from the same box. Okay, so this is how you answer this problem, okay? Uh, let's say the question is changed, like still 10 socks, and then still we want to get eight, uh, we want to choose eight socks at random. But how about if we want to get exactly K pairs of the socks? So K pairs. So that means the denominator still the same, right? Because we still choose eight from 10 pairs of socks, but for the numerator is changing. So 10, and this is K. And then, so that means this is 10 minus K. Of course, right? Because we choose k pairs, so the remaining is 10 minus k pairs. And then for the this one, this must be 8 and then minus 2 times k. Because for example, if k is 2, then we need to multiply k times 2, right? Okay, so that means like 8 minus 2k, not 8 minus k. 
And then the method of choosing for the remaining socks is choose one from two and then to the power of eight minus two K. So this is in, if the question like select, we want to get exactly K pairs from eight socks that we choose from total 10 pairs of socks. Okay, I hope this will help you like uh, solving this type of problem. Make sure that uh, you illustrate this in your brain before you draw the combination, this notation, so you can understand the condition, okay? Okay, I hope this will help you. Bye-bye.